so much. There'll be so much turmoil in their life, right? So much turmoil in their life that they'll come seeking good news. Because they'll begin to realize that everything that you minister unto them has done something to them on the inside. Yes, yes. Has left them contemplating, has left them thinking, has left them better than they were before you stepped into that situation. You have to realize who you are in the earth. And that's why I started with taking care of the anointing. That when you take care of your anointing, you'll realize who you are in the earth. It says that the very ground is crying out, waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. If you understand who you are, this ground is cursed. And every step you take, the ground sighs when you know who you are. It's the manifestation of God on the inside of you. Last night I posted, I said that right now, there's saints everywhere praying, reading the word of God, Worshiping and God is alive in us. Yes. Right now. Right now. Oh. Self righteousness is not there in a disciple maker. Amen. Amen. There is no self righteousness in discipleship. Amen. There isn't. There's nothing but meekness and humility. Lord. That's it. That's all it is. It's meekness and humility. And because of that, we walk in this authority of God. When you walk into places, especially the places that you go in your everyday life, the people should know who you are. He says, all power. He says, he says, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach. He's saying, because of this power, because of this authority, because of this exousia, this authority that I have. In heaven and in earth, you go. says, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know ye ought to answer every man. Seasoned with salt. Last week I said that salt by itself is what? Bitter. But when you sprinkle salt on your favorite food, it enhances the flavor, right? And so because it enhances the flavor, that, that, that's what's right. Okay, so you walk in wisdom, you, you, you think about what God wants you to do, and, and, and you wait for the time that you open the door. He says, make sure that you pray continuously that a door will be able to be opened, that you may be, utter, be able to utter gospel to them, right? That you may be able to verbally utter gospel. So and before then, we pray, we live a certain way, right? We, we live a certain way, but while we're praying, we're waiting for the door to open. When the door opens, we step in, right? Walking in wisdom, right? Redeeming the time because we know that they're without Christ. When we get in there, we make sure we minister the grace of God. Yes. We take the hardness of righteousness, the upright living that we live, the upright living that we have, but we use it in a manner that we sprinkle yes. salt, that the flavor of who they are comes out. So they will be able to see Jesus and not necessarily us. You have to sprinkle. You have to sprinkle the gospel.